Owning a dog can get pretty costly as it is, what with all the grooming and healthcare and pet proofing you need to do inside the house. So imagine the upkeep for these exotic breeds that require extra TLC. Here are the 10 expensive dogs that only rich people can afford. What's up, Fact Addicts? This is Discovery Amuse, Woo! serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out of this world fun facts. You'll roll over when you find out just how much our top one pick is worth. All right. Who let the dogs out? Hoot, hoot. Number 10, Akita Inu. If you're like me who's cried buckets at the touching tale of Hachiko, you know the dog that continued to wait for his dead owner for nine years? Then look no further. Originally from northern Japan, the Akita Inu evolved into two separate strains, the Japanese and American. While the Japanese Akita comes in limited shades, its American counterpart comes in numerous colors. It's hard to imagine why some people would gladly pay a hefty $4,500 for a poop machine, but the Akita's rich history just might make you say, Shut up and take my money! You see, way back in the 1500s to the 1800s, Akitas served as a samurai's best friend. I can clearly see the tandem working since both of them are known slashers. It's sure not your regular hound dog. Keep watching, because if you're planning on keeping our number one pup, then you better make sure money grows on your backyard trees. Number 9. Saluki If you have $2,500 lying around, then this breed might be the one for you. The Saluki is also known as a Persian Greyhound, an Arabian Greyhound, or a Gazelle Hound. So many names! Who do you think you are, Daenerys Targaryen? Its deep-chested, long-legged and lean figure gives the Saluki a distinctive, graceful look that suits its price tag. The Saluki is one of the many hunting dog breeds in existence, but it doesn't use its sense of smell like most dogs do. Like a ruthless sniper, Salukis rely on their sense of sight to spot game. That's why they are referred to as sight hounds. They also come in various shades, ranging from red, fawn, white, tan, black, and even tricolor. I'll take one in every color. Though pricey, the Saluki gives you a bang for your buck because it doesn't shed as much as our other furry friends. And it's not a big fan of intense physical activities, hence no running after the garbage truck. Number 8. Rottweiler You better believe it! Rottweilers are actually costly dogs. Though a pretty common breed and can be found in local shelters, some Rottweilers are sold at up to $1,500. For real? Rottweilers make great family dogs because of their obedient and loyal temperament. But those traits don't come cheap. Just when you get too preoccupied giving them belly rubs, you'll be surprised to learn that you have already spent nine grand worth of funds for their maintenance. These guys are pretty much disease magnets, susceptible to almost every medical condition known to canines, particularly hip and joint ailments. No wonder insuring a Rottweiler costs more than $300 a year. Number 7. Afghan Hound If you're planning on purchasing this next expensive dog on our list, you better be loaded enough to have a maid, or at least a high-end vacuum cleaner. The Afghan Hound, as the name suggests, originated from Afghanistan. Apart from being one of the priciest dog breeds, they're also considered one of the prettiest. They have elegant tails and flowing coats that could give shampoo ad models a run for their money. Needless to say, these doggos need constant maintenance to keep their fur smooth, silky, and tangle-free. Afghan Hounds can cost a pretty penny at up to $7,000. And keeping them alive would also require more if you want them to live their full lifespan of 10 to 14 years. They're prone to major health conditions like cataracts and hypothyroidism, which could cost upwards of three grand a treat. Number 6. Pharaoh Hound Despite its Egyptian namesake, the Pharaoh Hound really hails from the European country of Malta. Its original name, Kelb Talfenic, means rabbit dog in Maltese, owing to the hound's primary purpose of hunting wabbits. Being around as early as 3000 BC, feral hounds can live up to 11 to 14 years, but while they're athletic and really smart, they're highly sensitive to stress. 
story of my life. I'm right with you there, brother. Stress is bad for any dog, and for the feral hound, it can cause severe digestive and neurotic issues. The medical bill could rack up to $1,500, which could then stress out the owner. It's a vicious cycle, I know. A puppy of this breed costs a whopping $7,500, but the trade-off seems worth it. These dogs are loyal, suitable for large families, and they can smile and blush when excited. Now, I'd pay to see that. Number 5. Dogo Argentino Equal parts junkyard dog and royalty, our next pick looks like it's always looking to destroy somebody's face. Born from the Cordoba fighting dog and the Great Dane, the Dogo Argentino has a tough guy look and their bite is as bad as their bark. The Dogo Argentino is apparently too intimidating that it's illegal to own the breed in Colorado, New York, and the United Kingdom. The going rate for this breed is $8,000, but the expenses don't stop there. Due to their aggressive nature, you might need to get a professional trainer to keep a Dogo Argentino at bay. They're also prone to genetic problems, particularly hip dysplasia and deafness, which means an additional $1,600 out of your pocket. From the looks of it, you ought to make sure that your Dogo Argentino is well fed too, lest he mistakes your scrawny legs for dog bone. Number 4. Azawak Long, slender legs, short brown hair, cat-like stride. I'm not talking about a girl, you pervert. I'm talking about the Azawak. This sleek pooch, originating from West Africa, is relatively new in the dog breed world, appearing in the American Kennel Club miscellaneous class just last 2011. As natural African hunters, the Azawak thrive in temperatures that could easily kill greyhounds. 100 degrees Fahrenheit, no sweat. They also exercise, but only if their owners are around, so they make for great workout buddies. Just don't expect them to spot you for the bench. But probably the most astounding quality about the Azawak is their sturdiness. Apart from the rare seizures and wobbler disease, they recover from injuries faster than your average dog. With all those qualities, they're definitely worth every cent of their $9,500 price tag. Okay, pop quiz. Which breed's traditional name literally translates to puppy lion dog? Number three, Chow Chow. Yep, their traditional name, Song Shi Xuan, means puppy lion dog in Chinese. These cutie patooties are believed to go as far back as 3,000 years, making them one of the oldest dog breeds in history. The best of them possess a completely bluish black tongue. These lion dogs are infamous for their protectiveness and aggression, even towards certain people in their household, singling out their owners as the one true master. If left unchecked, Chow Chows can become dominant. They're also stubborn and difficult to train, but if we're being honest, they can get away with anything with that fluffy fur. If you've got $8,500 to burn, plus an additional eleven dollars to cover for their food, vet fees, and lifetime grooming, then get yourself a Chow Chow. But wait, there's more! Call now and we'll throw in a box of lint remover. You'll need it, we promise. Number 2. Samoyed Take a gander at this smiling, photogenic pup. Originally from Siberia, the Samoyed is blessed with fluffy, snow-white fur that can be used for knitting wool. This breed has an average lifespan of 12 to 13 years, and because they're constant shedders, you can knit a lot of sweaters. They're called shedder sweaters. These bright balls of sunshine are always eager to please everyone, making them suitable for children and adults who act like children, too. Hello. The Summerhead can be worth anywhere between $4,000 to a jaw-dropping $14,000, and they seem to know what they're worth, always seeking attention and going to great lengths to get it. Huh, definitely a Virgo. They literally roam for miles, so better get good leashes if you don't want those Benjamins to go to waste. Don't get me wrong, they're skilled in hunting, sledding, and herding, but they're too friendly for their own good, so better not rely on them to guard your home, because they could easily mistake burglars for guests. World's worst bodyguard. Number 1. Tibetan Master. Our top pick is not quite a wolf, nor a bear, but it can kick their asses any time. 
the Tibetan Mastiff, which can tip the scales at more than 150 pounds and reach 33 inches in height, were mainly used to protect sheep in their native Tibet. Their protective nature and heightened alertness never died down when they landed on American soil, making them one of the most sought-after guard dogs and all-around cuddle companions. They are sweetly devoted to their family, but dangerously aloof with strangers, and just the sight of them can make any bad guy whimper. A Tibetan Mastiff averages $10,000 to own, but rumor has it that a purebred once sold for as high as $1.9 million. Shut the front door. Did that come with a Ferrari too? So, if money wasn't an object, which of these dogs would you love to own? Or perhaps you already own one of these expensive breeds. Let us know how it feels to be filthy rich in the comments section below. Join our fantastic tribe of Factnatics now by smashing that subscribe button. And while you're at it, turn on the notification bell so you never have to miss out on our latest life-changing, boredom-busting content. From the priciest to the scariest, we have them all for you. Check out our countdown of the 10 scariest pets people actually own. Till then, stay generous, Factnatics, and see you in our next video.